My dear old pal. I never should have trusted Cass. I thought she cared about you, but she's just mad, obsessed with this place. I can't trust her to help me overcome the last obstacle. This door. I know how to open it. But what I have to do is mix my blood with the black ooze. Am I mad for even considering that? It's the only way we can be together. It has to work, right? All this can't be a coincidence. The ritual is made for the two of us, isn't it, Nora? I wish you could be here to... Damn it. I, th I have to think it over. I can't. I... Uh, t tomorrow. Leave it for tomorrow, damn it. Stop writing. What are you saying, Harry? Don't you see what the Black Ooze does, what it did to the Doctor? Are you out of your mind? Oh, I really hope this works. Earrings stained with blood. My God, Harry, what did you do to her? If he's behind that door, I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? Different doors with different symbols. Those stone statues seem to rotate with this switch. Hmm, I wonder what this means. All these papers are riddled. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. Hmm, I wonder what this means. Hmm, an eye and a star. Look at the stars, maybe. The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth sky, where am I now? A shining constellation. I better draw it. Where is this door leading me? Circular stones with strange carved symbols. Pentagon shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What 
was it used for? It's a pentagon-shaped symbol with channel... ...in its edges. What was it used for? So I... I have to put my hand inside? Moby Dick. Its pages are hollowed out, and its shape is... <gasps> A camera. Harry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. Oh my, she sounds completely out of her mind. Let's give it a try. Ouch! Oh! Ah. What was that? Looks like a tattoo, but... It isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have on my hand. They 
took them to a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. What an odd structure, riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Maybe it only hurts the first time. Ah! I hope this is worth it. When I arrived on this island, I felt like I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong. Black and white figures. Good doggies, or dragons, whatever you are.
again? Seriously? Ow! That hurt! Again. I think I can feel the agony of the slaves, their suffering, and the effects of their transformation. It's horrifying. The place is like a labyrinth. It was submerged in black ichor. Harry seems to be on the brink of madness. But I... I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Oh, come on. One more time.
all the doors are open, but where is the constellation I need to open the throne room? Another one of those gates. I have to get into the water again. Feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here. An eye and a star. Look at the stars, maybe. is open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. There's something written on the floor. Fall. Heaven? Haven't I heard that word in, in my dreams? What a disturbing mirror. Is it made of black icor? I... I feel like it is just looking at me. Oh, heavens.
happens here appears to respect the most basic rules of physics. However, as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Like the workings of a clock. Or a music box. wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? What really happened? The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Did she use the dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual? You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Because Cassandra was ambitious, he would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. You had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. The ritual was only for... People like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Pacha Falgarfen. She is our daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. you faked your own death and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those same glasses you never take off. And you sent me the package from Diggy and Harry, your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. And I took the bait. You made me come to this island, the same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship. A whole beautiful life with you. 
I know what you tried to do. But I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make. We had a really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am and leave you behind. I'm going back home. What a lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is, I was homesick. My poor health, the pain, the suffering. It was all because of how far I was from here. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the i -Corps. Connected with the Elder God. Goodbye, Harry. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. All my life is empty Since I went away Skies don't seem to be so clear May some angel sentry guard you while I stray And fate be kind to join us some sweet day
Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life with no other incentive than my work. Because that is the only thing I have now, my dear old pal. <laughs> 